makes zero sense. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's just another layer to the fact that it was an intelligence on man, that it was part of the drills that were running for him. The fact that they had hijack drills at the same exact time as hijacking was coming across is not a coincidence. You know, I watch these debunker videos and they say, oh, well, they shut the drills off. Well, I listened to the NORAD tapes. They didn't shut any drills off. Those drills ran all the way through Flight 93 going down. Then they called into Cheyenne Mountain and it took another 25 minutes for them to shut those off. Right, but now they're headed to that's not true. They all did. There were inputs on the screen. Listen to the tapes. They literally say the inputs. Have you? You listen yeah. all 36 hours? Hey, he's right and you're wrong. Okay, so then you, okay. you've listened all 36 hours, yeah. all 19 DAT channels. I know I have. Okay, there was one that was scheduled for Cuba later in the day that never happened. So Wait, which one are you talking about? First of all, the NRO drill took place at 8.45 in the morning of a plane hitting a building. All right, bro. Global Guardian was in place for the entire week. And it, was, it had... E-4B doomsday planes magically on the scenes of the crime. Magically, not es in the official Escorting report. the plane. I, well, I don't know what they were doing there, but they're not in any official report. And they're, they are command centers for members of the military and the shadow government. Yes, continuity of government exists. It was put into place that morning before 9-11. When 9-11 happened, they were given all the power. Absolutely. Okay, and then you have, hold on, then you also have a white mystery plane on the scene of the World Trade Center before the second plane strikes, and then as the second plane strikes. And that ain't in any official report. Speaking to Jason well, Burmes. You're talking about the one that, uh, changed. In Washington, and that's... No, that's a, that's a third plane. I'm talking okay. about a different plane. I'm talking about the New York planes. Okay. They're uh, separate. There were some dopey guys trying to debunk in the, them. In the air on the morning of 9 11. For some kind of funny reason. They had the doomsday planes, the command centers, in place that day. All right, well, I got one question to ask you. Um, uh, in your debates with Mark Roberts, mm -hmm. she asked you if you could stop um, claiming that the World Trade Center, that the government plans to still melted. And you said you would. Do you remember that? What's that? In your hard part no, of the No, 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 no. I, I said in their in their NIST report, they stopped claiming that steel melted. Right. Yeah, absolutely. They, they claimed it. So, so well, hold on. John well, Gross of NIST also claimed that the molten metal didn't exist. And then Shyam Sunder last week admitted it. And then he said it wasn't caused by the fire, no, and they're not no, sure. He said he wasn't aware of it. That's he bullshit. He said watch he the watch the oh, watch. No, no, no. Did you watch it? Yeah. Because he says the molten metal was there, but he says it wasn't created from the fires inside, and it was created somehow in the pile. He admits to it, dude. Wait, are you talking about Shyam Sunder? Shyam Sunder. Oh, oh yes. The um, other guy you talked about. John Gross denied it. Absolutely. He said, no, he said he wasn't aware of it. No, 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 no. no. John Gross said, this. "Let's go back to your." Let me let me repeat exactly what he said, so you can go and watch this. Okay. Shit. So I'm sure you're okay. gonna post this on thing. John Gross, word for word, says, let's take your initial premise that there was molten metal on the scene of the World Trade Center. He then says that he knows of no reports of it, and he knows of no one who witnessed it. Now, if you Wait, watch sir, Loose Change Final metal. Cut, hold on, let me finish. If you watch Loose Change Final Cut, I have Ken Holden, the fourth FEMA, one of the main directors of the site, talking about molten metal dripping from six. I have firefighters on the scene oh, yeah. talking about lava, right. like channel rails of molten metal. Hold on. And the thermal imagery clearly shows no, higher temperatures than possible from regular fires. Hold no, on one second. I gotta take this no, call. I gotta take one this call. I will take. I'll take as many questions as you want. Okay. All right. I got it. Hey, what's up, brother? Where are you at? I'm at Vessi Intermission. And Broadway right now. Listen, it's not made up. There's molten metal there. Those guys aren't yeah, yeah. lying. Yeah, They're not saying. So you're saying there's definitely molten yeah, metal. Yeah, it was there. aluminum. Molten aluminum. It's molten aluminum. <laughs> Listen, Stephen Jones went what into a lab disproved your fucking molten aluminum hypothesis so your little debunker friends came back and said oh it's not molten aluminum it's batteries are you talking about his microspheres First of all, the microspheres is a totally different issue. That's thermal. Well, he about? did, did an investigation where he took molten aluminum. Okay, this is what you do. You get in a lab when you're a scientist. When you're in BYU, when you're in, hold on, when you're in BYU for 15 years, you actually do the science. All right, so he set up a huge vat. He melted the aluminum. He melted the aluminum. Then he put in what they said would have made it orange colored. All right, he put in. That's let, let's see. He proved that that molten metal pouring from the World Trade Center is absolutely not. It's not silvery. Are you on crack, bro? Wait, wait, wait. I mean, seriously. He looks like he's crack. on crack. It is no, red. It is molten I iron. iron. It is molten iron and steel. It is very evident. He disproved the aluminum. He brought it into a fucking lab. He made molten Listen. aluminum. It never looked like that. He poured it out with all sorts of things. He put in office furniture. He Listen. created paper. He put wood. Me? I'll let you speak, but you're, you're acting like... About, no, that's not what I said. I said Stephen Jones' experiment with silver. Yes, the aluminum here was orange. 
Steven Jones did his experiment. No, the aluminum here wasn't orange, bro. Where do you pull that from? Where do you pull that from? Please tell me. You're saying the aluminum, the aluminum here was orange. Did you see the plane melt and turn orange? That's my friend Danny from Brooklyn. I didn't see it. I saw and enjoying the festivities. Pouring for 60 floors. I got an oil train center. Molten hot cores for days and days and days afterwards. What? How do you know what? Molten steel, bro. I mean, he did the experience. He disproved your fucking aluminum theory. All right, he did it. He disproved it. Where you pour the fucking aluminum? Type in. Man. Type in. I've seen his video. I know exactly no, what you're No, you don't, because you keep talking about the microspheres and no, thermate. No, this has I'm nothing not to do with it. it. Listen, type he made molten aluminum. Man. He tried to get. Experiments. He tried to get it into what you said. I know. He exactly. tried to make it yeah, yellow. He tried to make it orange. Right. It didn't happen, man. It right. stayed silver. Because he only. But the metal that poured out of the World Trade Center was not silver. Let me speak. One minute. Okay. He heated it up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The power steering right, 1800 degrees. Aluminum begins to glow at. I think he just supported the New World Order, bro. That's where I think it's at. You know. Got it to blow like I, that I, I, ever, and he did all the experiments. Because Listen, the it is not molten degrees. aluminum pouring out of the world. Even your debunker friends have, have disclaimed it. They're done. Which they don't one? even. Your buddy Mark Roberts, your buddy Ron White down there, they don't even adhere to that theory anymore. So your little debunking thing. See, that's what you do. Let me, let me explain what you do. You fucking dumb motherfucker. <laughs> and, that's, and that's all I can call you, bro. No, 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 no. You, you put up hate shit about me all the time. I'm done playing nice. <laughs> that fucking building right there, they initially said in that fucking popular mechanics that one third of it was scooped out. Ten stories. What's ten popular? fucking stories, dude. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten above that. All right? We're said it was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Shyam Sunder said it out of NIST. Shyam Sunder said it out of NIST, dummy. He was on behalf of NIST. No, he said he had pictures. He said he had pictures and video that said a third of that building was scooped out. I fucking disproved it. I found two people that were blown up in that building. You disrespect everybody that died at it when you propagate your bullshit, man. Yeah, Barry Jennings and Michael Hess. Both no, went on the news that day. Secondary explosions in the building. Separate news networks. The documentary does he disagree with you? He disagrees. He, he Listen, he took back his statement about the bodies he stepped over. Now, when I interviewed him, did I ask him if there were dead bodies there? No. He came to me and he said he stepped over dead bodies. And I put that out there. Black hole.